Customer emailed me with a question about the halftone processor for Photoshop. They were asking how to make the halftones transparent. So I'll give you an example here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll open up a snapshot I took on my iPhone, select all, copy that, and I'll paste it into the halftone processor template, turn off the instructions layer, go down here to the your image layer, highlight that and I'll paste in that palm tree. Now I can scale this up, it won't really have any effect on the resolution of the halftones. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the, maybe the style and the size of the halftone. So this one's a grid halftone right here. You can change the scale of the halftone dots. Um, you could do lines instead. Again, double click on that little thumbnail there to change your scale. Kind of like the angle grid the best. Let's adjust the scale there. Click OK. Now, what we're going to want to do since we want to make this transparent is let's double click on our colors here. Just make a black and white gradient. So change this to black and then change this slider to white. Click OK. Let's select all, Command Shift C to copy merged, and then let's just make a new image, and then we can paste this thing in. And what I want to do here is go to my channels and Command or Control click on this RGB channel. That'll select everything that's white Let's turn off that top layer visibility and then select inverse. Let's make a new layer and then go edit fill. And then we'll fill that with black. So now you can turn off your background layer or just delete it. And you'll see this palm tree is on a transparent background. And you can just export that as a transparent PNG file or a Photoshop file with transparency. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.